Glad you're with us. Now, behind us is the ballot that Tulsa County voters will see tomorrow. I saw it today when I voted earlier. Two of the items related on that ballot are Vision 2. Now, this could bring in nearly $750 million in capital and county improvements if voters approve the plans. But 2 News reporter Sarah Goldenberg found the first obstacle for voters is actually finding Vision 2 on the ballot. Sarah? Russ, some people are surprised when they look at this ballot. They can't seem to find Vision 2, and that's because it's not called that in the wording. Known to voters as Vision 2, the question seems to be eluding many. But can you tell me where Vision 2 is on the ballot? Let's see. Uh, well, right off, not particularly. We asked voters to find it on this sample that ballot will. before they I voted. I don't know, it's awfully cluttered, isn't it? I don't even see it. Even though this says sample ballot, I think it's confusing, yes. Yeah. Tulsa County voters will find Vision 2 under county questions, Propositions 1 and 2. The word vision isn't mentioned anywhere. Very wordy, very ambiguous. Uh, yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know just to look at it. If passed, Vision 2 would extend Tulsa County's six-tenth of a penny sales tax passed in 2003, known as Vision 2025. Proposition 1 focuses on economic development with projected revenue of $386.88 million. This includes $122 million for improvements to Tulsa International's airport infrastructure. Proposition 2 focuses on quality of life projects with projected revenue of $361.92 million. $92 million is slated for Tulsa County projects from parks to roads and infrastructure. Structure. $257.9 million would be divided among Tulsa County's 10 cities. For example, Tulsa would receive nearly $160 million. $38 million would go toward a new juvenile justice facility and $25 million to roads and bridges. Broken Arrow would get about $44 million. Much of that would go toward road widening projects. And Sand Springs would see about $10 million, spending more than half of that on parks and trails. If it passes, Vision 2 would go into effect when Vision 2025 expires. That's in 2017. Now we have a complete Vision 2 for you on our website, kjrh.com. Live near downtown Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.